I ordered a bed frame from walmart.com. Shopping online has never been easier, but returning can be a different story. And Walmart confirmed my return pickup. Take Sophia Carpinella's story, sending back the $150 king bed frame that didn't fit in her Denver apartment. They sent me a return shipping label. When the FedEx driver came to the house and saw the shipping label, he said this is the wrong kind of shipping label. It happens all the time with the Walmart return, so don't worry, we'll make you a new one when we get to the warehouse. At first, she wasn't worried. This is an invoice. But a few weeks later, FedEx sent the first invoice for shipping that Walmart said was free. $2,248.32. What did you think when you saw that? My stomach dropped, honestly. So I called Walmart right away, um, and they reassured me that it was not you know, my responsibility to pay that. That was in August, and the invoices just kept coming. Oh my goodness, one, two. And coming. Sophia coordinated call after call between Walmart and FedEx, sent emails. Going to Walmart, going to Walmart, going to Walmart. Both companies kept telling her it would be resolved, and then FedEx sent her to collections. And that definitely made me feel very powerless. So they kept telling you this will be taken care of? Yes. Was it taken care of? Never. Not until um, I got you guys involved. Contact Denver 7 reached out to Walmart and FedEx, and while neither wanted to comment, in an email, a FedEx spokesman confirmed Sophia's return shipping charge has been resolved. The collections case was dropped too. What message do you want Walmart and FedEx to take from this? I'm just one person, and I felt very responsible the whole time for mediating between the two companies. It feels like a huge weight off of my shoulders. I really couldn't be more thankful <laughs> that Contact Denver 7 was able to help me out with this. We asked FedEx and Walmart what procedures are changing to help customers caught in the middle and have not received response. Now, we don't think this is a common shipping problem, but it's a cautionary tale for online shoppers, especially buying large items. Make sure you know who's paying for return shipping. And if something does go wrong, you have to advocate for yourself against the big guys. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.